Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review, stout review. Uh, finishing out 2022 with a stout. I don't know if I'm going to do a New Year's Eve video tomorrow, maybe. Um, but yeah, stout was kind of a fail this year. Didn't drink a lot of stouts in December. Uh, but somebody had mentioned to drink them in, you know, January, February, March. I think we're going to do that. But um, we're going to check out a beer that's widely available. So I'm hoping a lot of you guys have had this and we can talk about it. From Lagunitas, uh, Petaluma in Chicago. This is the 20 2022 vintage of Willitized. This is a per the label, 13.1%. Alcohol by volume. It says it's the Woodshop series. It is a coffee stout aged in rye oak barrels, uh, Willet barrels. Um, I <clears throat> I have reviewed this beer in the past. I usually seek this beer out every year, but I've not reviewed it every year. But um, everyone's saying it's great again this year, which it always is. Um, and I was randomly at a store today, grocery store on the way home from work, and I saw it. I'm like, ooh. I haven't actively been seeking this beer out for whatever stupid reason, um, but yeah, saw it and I was like, you know what, let's do it. So we're going to go into our permanent hangover home alone glass. I'm still feeling in the holiday spirit. I've got a little bit of the uh, post holiday blues. I don't know if anybody's with me. Um, November starting pretty much Halloween until Christmas, my favorite time of the year. Um, and every time Christmas is over, I just, I get bummed out. Like I drive through the neighborhood in the morning early going to work and all the Christmas lights are off and it's just like kind of like that sadness, <laughs> the post-Christmas sadness. So um, yeah, we're going to use this glass and we're going to almost pour this whole beer into it, but let's do it. Uh, it poured kind of a cola-ish color. It wasn't like pitch black. It was that kind of caramely like Coca-Cola color, um, but a good two fingers of fluffy, fluffy. Um, it's not a dark head. It's kind of khaki-ish. I think that's the best way to describe that color. Uh, it is pitch black in the glass. It looks like a stout. I don't know what kind of coffee they used in this. Does it say? I didn't even look it up. There's a bunch of writing on here. We're not going to mess around. Um, I have had Willet uh, bourbon or whiskey, whatever you want to call it, um, on its own. Uh, it is super like rye spicy to me. Um, that's another thing I want to do next year. I want to get do more of the whiskey wednesday videos like we were doing before um so yeah i've had some willet uh bourbon um i enjoyed it it was a little much for me for my <laughs> rookie whiskey palette but um yeah let's see what this smells like it smells really good um you definitely get the rice spice um some of that spice might be coming from the coffee this has a good amount of coffee to it um it has a little like pepper bite though. Um, and that's one of the things I, I, I love coffee beers. I don't like when they get green peppery. I don't think this is green pepper, but it might be the rye that's just the spiciness that I'm smelling. It's got like this almost black pepper kind of a thing. It is really woody. Um, there's some vanilla. Uh, and yeah, and it's just coffee. I don't really smell like, obviously it smells kind of roasty, but I don't think I really smell like a base stout. It doesn't smell like fudgy. It doesn't smell chocolatey. Um, it just smells kind of peppery coffee, rice spice, um, and like a lot of charred oak and vanilla. This beer is room temperature. Um, and I will just say this bottle, uh, I bought a four pack of this. This bottle isn't explosively aromatic, but it smells good. Um, it hides the 13% well, I think. It doesn't smell super boozy. It just smells really rice spicy. So let's go and taste it. Cheers. Holy smokes, that is delicious. It is really crazy to me that you don't... Hold on one second. I didn't smell a lot of like fudgy chocolate on the nose. This beer is very chocolatey and I love that. Chocolate stouts are my favorite. Chocolatey stouts are my favorite. Um, there is a good amount of rice spice. That spice kind of lingers on the side of your tongue. It doesn't taste fusel or hot. 
um, but it tastes like a big beer. I will say the mouthfeel of this for being 13%, it's not chewy, it's not heavy, um, but I don't think I mind that. There's a ton of charred oak. It's very dry, very woody on your tongue. Um, I always talk about like it, what it tastes like on your tongue when you have a toothpick in your mouth. It's got that going on. And it's got this cool vanilla spice to the finish of that. Um, maybe even like a sweet kind of dark fruit thing, like maybe cherries. Yeah, I would have never guessed this beer was going to be chocolatey from the nose. It doesn't smell chocolatey, but there's a ton of chocolate on it. Lots of barrel character. Like I said, woody, charred oak, vanilla, spirit. You're getting that spirit um, character. And you're getting the rice spice. This beer is fucking awesome. Like, the crazy part about this beer is... I don't know if it was marked wrong where I got it from. Um, a four-pack of 12-ounce bottles of this beer was $12.49. Which begs the question... How the fuck is Lagunitas doing that? <laughs> it seems impossible. A barrel aged using good whiskey barrels, adjunct, I don't know what kind of coffee they're using, stout, $12.49 for a four pack. That's insane. Like I, like I said, I don't know if it was marked incorrectly. I, that seems impossible to me, especially this day and age where things are really, really expensive right now. Um, how are they doing it? it, it how? Because typically here in California, we're paying two to three bucks more than what other people are paying outside of California. So, I mean, were you guys buying this for nine ninety nine a four pack? I can't even imagine that, dude. Forty eight ounces of barrel aged coffee stout for twelve dollars. That's like, I mean, what is that? Twenty. We'll just do easy math. Twenty five. Twenty five cents an ounce. Twenty six cents an ounce. Twelve twenty four. Is that math right? Am I am I way off on that? <laughs> am I doing that backwards? No, I think that's right. Yeah, that's like how? Could you imagine going to a bar and getting an eight ounce pour of this for two bucks? That's unheard of. How are they doing that? <laughs> it's impossible. You know what's funny is I forever hate Lagunitas for getting rid of Born Yesterday. I'll never forgive them for that. We're never gonna be bros again. Like this makes me happy but i still hate them i'll never love them again because they did that um but this i have to give credit where credit's due as far as shelf beers go widely available barrel aged stouts i didn't have this year's bourbon county um i haven't even looked for it yet but i can't imagine it's better than this and there's no way you're paying anywhere near that usually bourbon county around here for the 16 ounce bottles it's like 13 or 14 bucks i think I got a four pack of 12 ounce bottles of this for $12. Insane. So how does Lagunitas do it? Anyone know? I have no idea, but this beer is awesome. Per usual, every year it's great. So um, I think something like this, even it's an adjunct with the coffee, it'll probably fade, but you can let these beers sit. Like they'll be fine next year, two years down the road. Like this beer is gonna just, it'll, you can lay it down. It's gonna be great still. So uh, world-class stuff. We'll leave it at that. That's Willa Ties 2022 Vintage. Interested to talk to you guys about this and let me know what you paid if you're outside of California or even if you're in California Maybe you paid less than me here in Southern California. I don't know It just blows my mind that this beer for a 12 pack is twelve dollars and forty nine cents. So that is it. I'm out of here uh, Maybe we'll see you tomorrow If not happy new year appreciate you guys hanging out another year on the channel looking forward to 2023. So that's it. Cheers Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade all that shit <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all.